So for those of you who have a spouse that are always concerned about uh, these window treatments may be difficult to put up, we've made it really, really simple. Our window treatments are made so that you can install them yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you on this French door as how simple it is to go ahead and put this up. On this particular window, we are doing three layers. We are doing shears as a first layer, we are doing side panels as a second layer, and we're doing swags as a third layer. So the first thing that you want to start with is just simply measure the entire window. Once you have measured the entire window, the second measurements you want to do is to find out where the center of the window is. As you can see, we have already have went ahead and put up the brackets, so I am just gonna go ahead and mount the rod up now. So the next step is just to mount our scrolls with the arms being screwed on the back of them. I'm gonna go ahead and take these arms and I'm gonna slip them on there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and simply mark these on the corner of the windows where the rods are going to go by just putting them up. The location of these brackets are right next to the shear bracket, just about, about an inch away from it. All I'm going to do is just put these up here and I'm just going to go ahead and mark this leg on the top leg as well and just put a mark on there. So I'm going to slip this out and I'm going to go ahead and mount the bracket where where I previously marked the wall. So we went ahead and mounted the squirrel and we want it in the position that we like it to be in. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to put up the crown which is the next step. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount the crown and the crown is just simply going to go right in the middle of the window and I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the top of the ceiling so it gives me uh, a little bit more room to play with. So I'm going to move it all the way up as high as I can and then I'm just going to go ahead and mark the arms where the screws are going to go. So my crown is up and it's ready to go. All I'm just going to do, I'm just going to slip it on there and tighten the screws. The shears are now have hooks in them. We place the hooks on those and they're ready to go ahead and put up. For those of you who do not know how and where to put the hooks, we have a video called How to Put Hooks on My Drapes. And you can watch that video and it will tell you exactly how to put them up. So simply I'm just going to go ahead and put these shears up for the time being. And then we're going to go ahead and do the swags and the drapes as the last layer. The next step is just simply putting the rod through the pocket that's provided on the balances and just simply pulling it through and it is now ready to be mounted on the back of the scrolls. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the valve, for the draperies and just simply running my rod through this pocket that was provided and uh, then we're going to go ahead and mount it on the back of the scroll. And that's ready to go also. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the back of the scrolls and then we're ready to mount the scrolls up on top. We're going to go ahead and take this portion and I like to go ahead and always leave a few inches behind and splice the fabric right here and then I'm going to have this come out and then mount that on there. What this will provide me will be a little bit of what we call a return that will meet the wall and it will cover the shears as well as the layer underneath. But this is now ready to be mounted up. We're going to go ahead and put this up on the brackets that are up on the wall already.
And this is the part where we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount it on the wall. So that will give us a, a bit of a coverage on the side and that will cover the light that's going to be peeking from the side of the windows. Now that we've got everything mounted, the last step is really the simplest step of all. Uh, I usually provide the Ziplocs with these packages, so you, these have come really handy. All you have to do is just simply go ahead and uh, grab the fabric up here and uh, work your way down from here towards the center. And then all you have to do is just take one of the Ziplocs, wrap it around the first layer, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Put another Ziploc on this. And then I'm going to bring these two together and I'm going to put a Ziploc and tie these two together. Once I've done that, then I'm just going to go ahead and mount this on the bracket that is on the crown. So now that I've got the Ziplocs up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull this up so that will give me a straight top pleat. And then I can just simply play around with the fabric here and pull the pleats out a little bit more so that kind of gives us gives me an even look and once I'm done with that I'm just going to go ahead and tie the ziplock so that I will not lose those folds and there it is so we put up the swags we put up the panels the shears are up it all seems to look really, really well. The colors go really well in this room. I am so glad that our clients chose these colors. Uh, they had a great taste, obviously. And uh, this is one of our neutral palettes, so it seems to work really well. And the last step is just simply going ahead and resting your fabrics on the hold back. And again, we use the same technique by just simply working from the bottom and going ahead and working it up. And once I get up to the top of this, all I have to do is just simply rest these over the hold backs and uh, my window treatment is now almost complete. I'm going to do some finishing touches, dress it up, and this will be complete. As you can see, uh, we put this window treatment up. It didn't take us very long to do. The client had a lot of choices and they chose really wisely. They chose beautiful colors that goes with their room. And these are all available on our website. You're welcome to go ahead and visit us at uh, galaxy-design.com or you can just give us a call and we'll come, come on out to your place and take care of it all for you. Thank you and we'll look forward to talking to you again. So for those of you who have a spouse that are always concerned about uh, these window treatments may be difficult to put up, we've made it really, really simple. Our window treatments are made so that you can install them yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you on this French door as how simple it is to go ahead and put this up. On this particular window, we are doing three layers. We are doing shears as a first layer, we are doing side panels as a second layer, and we're doing swags as a third layer. So the first thing that you want to start with is just simply measure the entire window. Once you have measured the entire window, the second measurements you want to do is to find out where the center of the window is. As you can see, we have already have went ahead 